Erica Westbrooks. Number 14 from Louisiana Tech. From the east part of Texas, Angela Lawson. AC puts it on the floor, gets in some trouble. Now kicks it back out to Lawson. And that's the area that was said would be soft in that matchup zone. The area right around the top of the key, the foul line, or the stupid or what? <laughs> This is Westbrook, has the jumper from 10 feet. Erica Westbrook has such a nice touch for, for a post player. She can score a matchup zone initially is to have a good perimeter shooting night. Westbrook's very tough shot, falling away, but she hits it. Westbrook's. Area we said would be open. Westbrook's. All been one of the charge. Great drive by Westbrook's. Although Erica Westbrook's made and she hits the first one. Suffered a knee injury in the 85-86 season. Extensive rehab has made her a quality player again. When she was practicing yesterday, she had an electrode on her knee with a battery pack stimulating her knee to try and help the swelling go down. She wore that all during practice. She now has seven points, five rebounds. Angela Lawson at the line for Louisiana Tech. 5'8", 130-pound senior from Longview, Texas. High school All-American, scored over 3,000 points in high school. Wants to be a coach when she graduates. Phys Ed major. She's really matured as a scorer for this Louisiana Tech team. In the regional final game, she didn't have one shot attempt in the first half, which is highly unusual, and yet she was playing a good game and concentrated on other aspects of the game. Angela just ended a five-minute scoring drop by Louisiana Tech with those free throws. The lead is back to 10 for Albert. Ruthie Bolton, quick jump shot. Auburn is operating a lot more easily against this man. Weatherspoon with the rebound. One on one, stops at the foul line and hits. The problem with having a player as quick as Teresa Weatherspoon is it's hard to get anybody to run with her because she's so fast with the ball. Ruthie Bolton again with a jumper. Again, they're operating much better against this man. The man, of course, they're using one another. They're setting pit and freeing one another. Ruthie Bolton averages nine points a game. She already has 14 in this one. Here she is again. She's got 16. And you see Auburn running. That's what Auburn is going to do this afternoon to try and negate the physical... McNeil, three on three. She'll pull up and fire. And there's Auburn's running game. Once again, that trap in the front of that matchup zone is giving Nora Lewis or whoever is cutting... Lawson had the shot, now takes it. Lacey with a rebound. No, Auburn ball. Off Lacey, and it'll be Auburn ball. Tim, Angela Lawson, number 14 for Louisiana Tech, is their perimeter scorer. She has got to get comfortable in her outside shooting and take that shot, especially on the baseline, the one that they offered her just then. She feels it right now. She's one for four in the field. She's not comfortable at all, and you can tell she hesitates before she shoots the ball. Louisiana Tech has up-tempoed the game a little bit, pushing the ball down the floor on offense. Weatherspoon bleeding for movement. Now they bang it inside of Westbrooks. That's the bread and butter for the Westbrooks again. Tim, they're doing a very fine job now of getting the ball to the weak side cutter, coming across that matchup, and then pounding it down low on the weak side. Three on one. Louisiana Tech really needs a timeout. They've got to regroup. They squandered an opportunity there, taken away by Weatherspoon. She regains possession. Lacey, tough shot inside. Can't get the roll. Fight for the rebound. Lewis. Lewis. Westbrook forces it inside to Lewis. Lewis gets her own rebound and punches it in. The two things that are turning around for La Tech right now, they're getting rebounds, number one, and they're getting the ball inside. La Tech now forces the pressure. Three-quarter court took one of those Georgetown rebounds, the ones that come <laughs> way out. This is Westbrook. Louisiana Tech within 10. The lead's been cut to eight. It's a six-nothing run for the Texters. Oh, blocked by Westbrooks, and they call over the foul. That was a big call right there, because had that been a clean block, this crowd would have gone wild, and it would have given them a 
momentum back to Louisiana Tech. The nice baseline drive, but the, she did get her with the ball. She's got a beautiful looking shot, tremendous release. Watch this on the foul shot. Great rotation on the ball. She came into this game eight for 13, the regional championship against Maryland. Strong game Friday. This is Weatherspoon. Now look at Louisiana Tech pushing the ball up the floor themselves. Lewis with a follow. Once, twice, rebound got beat. as a freshman while she made the academic adjustments to college. National Player of the Year in high school two years ago. So she can play. She's an outstanding player. This is Vicki Orr. Vicki Orr is listed as a center, but she could be not small. She has such a nice outside shot. Nice pass inside the Westbrook. Oh, my. Weatherspoon just Look one way. Auburn with the ball. Man-to-man -man defense by La Tech. And the steal by Westbrook. Auburn might use a timeout right about now to really regroup themselves. Westbrook now has 19, and the lead is 5. And Joe Champy does want a timeout. Cool. Lawson with a running one-hander. Still can't get it to drop. Westbrook with the tough follow. Westbrook had a strong game Friday night. And Ooh, nice lob pass inside to Orr. Puts it on the ground and loses it. Etheridge. The lead is five. Tim, I think it's very interesting to point out that both these teams... Louisiana Tech and Etheridge goes out of the ball game. Auburn putting full court pressure on. One of the things this full court pressure does is can There's no question where they're going with the basketball. They want Westbrook to shoot. It looks to me like Erica Westbrook is the only one that wants to shoot, Tim. Angela Lawson can score from the outside. She's got to shake off what's happened previously. She Westbrook now has 23 points. And here's the steal by Weatherspoon. Shot, nice pump fake. And gets the roll. Ruthie Bolton hadn't scored this half. I was just going to mention that they haven't been standing around on Auburn's part. Bolton had 16 points in the first half. This is Lawson drives the baseline. Tough shot. She scores. Now that might give her a little bit more confidence to go on this second half, take the shot with comfort. Ruthie Bolton can't get it to drop. Fight for the rebound. Louisiana Tech. Tim Weatherspoon. Nice pass to Westbrook. is on a 16 to 5 run since Auburn led 46 37 with eight minutes to go. Auburn has turned the ball over 10 times in the second half. <laughs> Teresa Reddick through with a steal again, can't control it. Coach Joe Champy yelling instructions to his Auburn team. Look at the turnovers. One minute, 53 seconds remain in the ball game. The NCAA Women's Championship. Or Westbrook.
Brooks gets it back, and the foul is going to be called against the All-American, Vicki Orr. She had to take it. The shot clock was about to expire. Now let's see if Auburn works a little bit better offensively. They're in the one four set. Into Vicki Orr. Turnaround jumper. Yes, with time. remaining in this ballgame. Misses the first one. Hits the second. Auburn trails by one with 25 seconds remaining. Remember, there's no 10 second timeline in women's basketball. There's the foul. It's called on Diane McNeil. Weatherspoon will go to the line, shooting one and one for Louisiana Tech. Auburn's bench a little pensive at this point, one point down. Thank you. 